Welcome to the Vinyl Files, ladies and gentlemen. Another year closed, another year of me spending way too much money on vinyl. And we did this last year and we had a lot of fun with it. So we decided that this year we're gonna do it again. We're gonna talk about our year in review, what we picked up from the record store. And joining me today, again, is my lovely, wonderful wife, Kennedy. Yes, I am here. 365 days have passed since we last did this. I've gotten more involved in the selection process. This year, we added a lot. A lot? What's the actual number? A bunch of them. I didn't count. <laughs> um, We're somewhere oh, about 75. Not this year. Not this year? No. No. Really? I we had a wedding to pay for. We had like a life to pay for. You're not 75. That would be a lot. Before we get into our list, be sure to comment down below. What was your favorite record that you picked up this year? Be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and join the vinyl cult. Cults are fun. Cults are fun. Why don't you start us off? Yeah, always. Anti-social life. This is one that James picked up and we got one album from Always and we ended up getting the other one after well, listening was, to this. Yeah, it was like the week later their, their newest album dropped and I was like, okay, I might as well go grab it. And then I saw their first album was available too and so I just grabbed them both because that's one of my like favorite bands that I've discovered this year. This is so... Their music is so chill, relax. It's just such a good vibe. It's so fun. It's it really so is fun. so fun. In Undertow is like the first song on this album and it's it sets the mood. Yeah. It's wonderful. That's the song that got me into them. On to you, baby. My first is Dear God by Being as an Ocean. So I actually pre-ordered this in May, I want to say, and got it in October. It was a long wait for this one, but which is which is fine. This is the Bone uh, White variant. My friend JT got that variant as well as the box set. I couldn't justify getting them both even though I wanted them. But that is like the the like the like the most popular Being As An Ocean album. That's the one that everybody thinks of when they think of Being As An Ocean. And for good reason because it's this nice raw stripped melodic hardcore that uh, put them on the map and while they ventured out in sound in later years it really is fantastic and their later work is great too waiting for morning to come is awesome their second and third album is great a and imo not a big fan of but um they have great merch they have amazing merch if you watched last year's um i had church's newest album as of last year on that and I had said that my goal for the year was to get the other two um, albums, and I did. Every Eye Open is my favorite Church's record. I- I didn't know that. Absolutely love it. And I just, I love like the artistry. It's so classic. I had this in CD form and I thought oh, I did. lost it. It was actually in my car still, but it was in the player. It has been really? in there for two years. Huh. It doesn't play anything anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, okay. And that's the that's the 180 gram white variant. Yeah. Cool. So it's super pretty. I do like a nice white record. They just look clean. I, I got so many of them this year though. I'm hoping that I don't add any more in 2023 because for sure Pain Remains by Lorna Shore, that one, being as an ocean, uh, being funny in a foreign language. A lot of them were white pressings, which is cool, but... Um, it just looks clean. I understand why we like it. True. It's different than going black. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, like, you you all know this, you know this. I like color pressings. So, so do I. I get, yeah, I get excited by those. Speaking of color pressings, Grow by Chan. This album, uh, I was really excited to, to find. I was actually able to get this one, their self-titled, uh, their third and at this point last album. Uh, I did pre-order Homie, but there was a big mix up with Sumerian and their fulfillment. But this album, this is actually the Record Store Day variant that I made a call to Plaid Room Records down in, I want to say it's Ohio? Maybe it's Illinois. I don't really remember where they're at, but I saw on their website that they had like two left. And so I called them and I was like, hey, is this real? And they're like, yeah, I'm looking at them right now. So I ordered it and I was able to get this. It's a gatefold, it's um, beautiful. And I'm really stoked because I love this band so much and to be able to actually have this uh, physically in my hands is really cool because I've been a fan of this band for a really long time. And if you've never heard of Chan, 
go check out. Um, what are you doing with your freaking life? Go check out the video that James has done on Sean already, and Thank we'll you. link it right down below in the description. Flume! Flume! Which is one of the best names for a band I think I've ever. Uh, it's a good name. It reminded me of Odessa. Yeah, it's kind of in that similar vein. It's just so relaxing and chill, and it's a beautiful color. Um, and I just love the artwork. This is one that James picked up, and you know, as I'm on the couch, just being my potato self, <laughs> James would put on, and it was one that like instantly piqued my interest, and I was like, what is this? And while he was gone at work, I put this on a lot. Oh, really? Like, a lot. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one's fun a lot. Um, it's, it had a very uh, near permanent place on the wall this yeah. year, just also because of just how beautiful the artistry. And then this one is called Skin. Yeah, yep. So definitely take a look at it. Um, I hope that ne this next year I can listen to a little bit more from them. So my next one, la in last year's uh, 2021 recap, I went on a rant about how upset that I was that I didn't have this. And a friend of the show came in really clutch and I ended up, uh, initially I bought the green variant of I Am Hollywood by He Is Legend and found my way, thanks to someone truly special, that that gave me this this pressing. This is the I Am Hollywood, it's the, the silk screen cover. And this is actually a promo from Furnace Fest. And this is in like my top 10 albums of all time. I've been listening to He Is Legend since, I mean, I, I it was formative in my teenage years. So having that finally is really, really special. And so that, that one is perhaps my greatest uh, collecting accomplishment of this year. I'm not I gonna say my greatest <laughs> accomplishment because that would be ridiculous. But as far as record collecting goes, you were so close to saying <laughs> that. I know it was on the tip of his tongue. It was on the tip of his tongue. This is the greatest it's thing. It's literally that's happened the best part of my year. year. Yeah, we got married. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Give it back to me. <laughs> All right. So my fourth, Polyphia. Yeah. New levels, new devils. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have pre-ordered. Remember that you must die. Will die. Remember that you will die. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that you must die. Well, you it sounds have like to. Scotty LePage and Tim <laughs> Henson are walking around with clubs being like, Remember, you must die. I would let him club me tonight. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you would. Don't come after me in the <laughs> comments. It's because please. of your bloodlust. After this Christmas season, I get a little bit hom <laughs> a little get, get a little bit homicidal. Yeah, as everybody does. Love that this is in our collection. Yeah. I absolutely Love this, and it's a great um, caveat to their newest album because they had a lot of features on this one yeah. that really kind of started to tow the water for the new album um, because the new album is just stuck full of features and love it. I yeah. love it. Second to last. Kiki's Delivery Service by Joe, like the music was um, composed by Joe Hisashi, Hisashi? Joe Hisashi. Hisashi, yes. I watched this movie all the time when I was a little kid and uh, for my birthday, you actually got me Castle in the Sky, that soundtrack. I picked this, I picked this one up and I'm a little bit surprised that I actually enjoy the music from this one more. It's 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 like a whole, it's a, it's a it's a vibe. It's a whole vibe. It is a vibe. When you when you compare the two though, the two movies side by side, musically they are very different mm -hmm. as well as storyline. Oh yeah. Like Kiki's Delivery Service is so feel good, you know, self-discovery, you can do it, whereas Castle in the Sky is a little bit more intense. There's a lot of like guns and yeah. evil doers. I would consider the difference to be between like a shonen anime with Castle in the Sky and a slice of life with Kiki's oh, Delivery Service. Oh, wow, that's a great analogy. And 
I think the music is very similar too, because with Castle in the Sky, I think the themes are more iconic, but I think that as far as like a whole listen, Kiki's Delivery Service is better for a rainy day with the windows open while you're doing household chores. But I also just, I just, I love the music off of this. It's, it's incredibly nostalgic and just really fun. All right, so my last one uh, before my honorable mention is an album that we picked up about two weeks ago that I had special ordered yes. for me. And it is my Stand Atlantic Skinny Dipping. Yes, this is not a new release, but I don't think any of mine were new releases. No, I don't think... I don't think mine were either. Nope. That's okay. That's it. Such a wonderful band. Love them with my heart. Um, Stand Atlantic, uh, yeah, is one of my favorites. It's my get ready to kick some... And, uh, like, it's what I, it's my tough girl persona okay. within music, and I just love it and it's the I don't care attitude I want. It's my little bit of edginess and I absolutely love it. It's such a beautiful color. Um, we had ordered the clear with pink and blue splatter and that's actually what um, our sticker said and we opened it and we got the purple variant but I'm not mad about it at all. I love either of them. We just ordered it and I'm okay. I'm trying to rationalize it in my brain and I almost wonder I know, I know it's not true, but I almost wonder if like they everything just mixed together and it just was like, it's Violet, send it, I don't know. And my last pick is also not a new release. It is P3 Select Difficulty by Periphery. This uh, album was actually a gift from my good friend Ben. He saw that they were, they had like a limited stock and they re-released them. It's uh, on black vinyl and it's... Each one is 180 grams, so this is a 360 gram package. It's a, as well it's as a the thick gatefold. puppy. That is a chonky donkey. <laughs> and I love, I love Periphery, and I'm so excited for a new album this year. Misha Mansoor has been teasing the heck out of it on, um, on Instagram. With a tantalizing Yeah, man. no, seriously. I've been watching it just like salivating. I'm like, I need the gent, I need to get the gent. So that's our top 10 for what we've gotten into our collection this year. We have three honorable mentions. We have a his, uh, his, hers, and ours. I'm a lady. So if you have kept up with the LP Weekly, you have probably seen me make a couple appearances. And one of the most notable ones is when this album was getting released. Uh, this is Monsta X, uh, The Dreaming. It is a K-pop band. I do, I, I love K-pop. Um, we enjoy K-pop. Uh, I say that very tentatively. I, lo I love you. And I love K-pop. K-pop really does not do vinyl. No, really they don't. don't. They do a lot of CD box sets because they can sell you multiple box sets because each box set is packaged separately. So if you want limited edition merch, you have to buy like all three of them to get everything. Yep. And some people do that. I'm not a, that big. This band is not new by any sense. So they're not a new band. They're not trying this out. So um, absolutely love it. I got it for the nostalgic. It's a great album. Um, not my absolute favorite from the band, but it's an honorable mention because more K-pop bands need to do vinyl. Yes. And it's a very, very fun, uh, really bright canary yellow. And it looks just really pretty. So my my runner up, it's funny because both of our like honorable mentions are new releases from this year. Yeah. Mine is Jackpot Juicer by Dance Gam and Dance. Um, I know the fan base is a little bit polarized right now, but this album blew my freaking socks off. This is one of my favorites. I think it's right below Mothership for me. Um, I'm so stoked about this album. I love it. I love it. This it's so good. This is the the I think it's it's the clear with yellow and red splatter, even though the red is more of a hot pink. I'm not complaining about that. I love it. So that's my honorable mention. And last but not least, we have something together that kind of almost made both of our lists. So yeah. it ended up being in our honorable mentions together. And that is 
The Flaming Lips. Yoshimi battles the pink robots. Literally, just aesthetically, yeah. so pleasing. Every song is amazing. It's, it's fun. It's so fun. I love, um, like, Wayne Coyne in all of the Flaming Lips. They, they do a really good job of creating a nice soundscape. And this album is so much fun musically conceptually even though it's not a concept album they say it's not a concept album but the fact that this was adopted or adapted into a musical is crazy you gotta if you don't know yoshimi battles the pink robots please listen, check it out yeah listen to this and pick it up if you can because i think there was just like a, an anniversary box set that was just released so it's worth checking out and so there is another 365 days of what we've added to our list. Yeah, so definitely let us know what vinyl you've picked up this year. Uh, what's yeah. made your year. Yeah, absolutely. And be sure to recommend like new music down in the comments because at the end of the day, that's what this is about. It's just about music. It's not about, I don't do as many unboxings anymore just because that gets really expensive. Comment down below what music you've been getting into, what I should be checking out, what she should be, what we should be checking out. And, uh, Thanks for a great year, everybody. This was a lot of fun. And remember, until the table stops spinning, just keep gritting. Nice.